29 pending deals in March. What you think about it, Bam Bam? Now, before we get into that, I want to let you know that I'm going to be live right here on Thursday, 4 p.m. Central, and I'm going to be evaluating your weekly email. I'm going to have you email me your email that you're sending to your clients on a weekly basis, or at least you should be, and I'm going to evaluate them live, and I'm going to let you know what I like, what I don't like, and what you could improve on. I'm going to try to get through as many as I can, and I know this is going to be a big help for a lot of people, even the people that don't evaluate their emails. At least the people watching can see what I'm saying about other agents emails and hopefully it can just help us overall. Also, I'm going to drop another little gem in the description. It's my very first, okay, January 17, January 2017, my very first coaching video that I put out on YouTube. I know a lot of people haven't seen it. There's only like 380 views today when I looked at it. I haven't seen it in years. So it was really a blast from the past. So you can really see the progression of my videos looking at this very first coaching video. So I'm going to put that in the description. You guys go check that out. Now let's talk about these 29 pending deals in March. Okay, that is the number that I'm used to on a year to year basis. Normally every March, I put about 20 to 30 properties under contract. This March, I put two properties under contract. Now, a lot of agents, when I tell them that, they kind of say to themselves, ouch, Ricky, that sounds like it hurts really, really bad. And I'm going to tell you why it doesn't hurt at all whatsoever. And I've said this time and time and time again. I've said it in speeches. I've said it in videos. I've said it in Q&A. I absolutely do not care if December 31st, I wake up and I've only sold 20 properties, 50 properties, 10 properties, 70 properties. Okay. I don't wake up January 1st and say, I'm going to go sell 100 properties. That's not what I tell myself. I wake up January 1st and I say to myself, I am going to work harder than anyone else. I'm going to give it everything I have on a daily basis. Every day when I come home, I'm going to go to sleep knowing that I put everything that I had into it. So at the end of the year, you can't control your sales. You really can't. People say, people think you can, people say you can. They try to defend this and you really can't. Why? Here's a perfect example. Right now we're in the middle of a pandemic. Can you control the pandemic? Can you control that a pandemic would happen? Can you control that it stopped the economy and its tracks? You cannot control that. You cannot control inventory. You cannot control interest rates. You cannot control supply and demand. You can't control those things. I'm sorry. I don't care how much you think you can control those things, but you can't. You might get a handle on it here and there. You might get a handle on exactly how much per lead and how, you know, how many leads it takes to get to a deal. And so therefore, this is how much it costs you to do each deal. You might get a handle on that here and there short term. But year over year over year over year, you cannot control the results. You can't control the results. So if you can't control the results, why would you care about the results? What can we control? We can control our daily actions. Here's the fact of the matter. I know everybody wants to try to hit their full potential, full potential, full potential. Nobody knows what their full potential is until they actually hit it. Your full potential could be way above or way below what you think over the course of time. But how do we hit our full potential? How do we reach as high as we possibly can? There's only one way, and that's to put forth the maximum amount of effort. So why not only care about you putting in the maximum amount of effort and nothing else, right? Put in the maximum amount of effort and then just see what happens. Whatever comes out of you putting the maximum amount of effort in will be the highest results possible. So why not only focus on that? Whatever results happen, be happy with those results because that was as high as you could possibly go. Now, beyond that, we want to do the things like working smarter, not harder. But we also want to work harder than everyone else as we're working smarter. Okay. We want to believe first. We want to work hard second. We want to adapt. We want to learn things along the way. Try new things. See what works. See what doesn't work. And then once we put the believe, work hard, and adapt all in place, now we're going to top all that off with being patient. Rome wasn't built in a day, right? I didn't get to 40,000 subscribers in a day, okay? No one got to a million subscribers in a day. I didn't get to 100 deals in a year in one day. 
I didn't make a million dollars a year first year. None of this happens. Okay, nothing happens fast. So only focus on putting maximum amount of effort into everything you do, right? And then give yourself time in the evenings to recharge. Don't burn yourself out mentally by continuing to try to push, 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 push. There's always something to do, right? Push as hard as you can throughout the day and then go home at night knowing you did all you could do and now it's time to rest up so you can put forth the maximum amount of effort the following day. Now, what do I believe as far as what my sales will be at the end of the year? I think I'll be right on target with I normally am. 100 sales, a million in GCI, I don't think that that's gonna change. Now it may, I have zero control of that, right? I'm just throwing some things out there. But at the end of the day, I know that whatever it ends up being, I'm gonna be 100% happy with because I know it was all I could possibly do because I know that I'm giving it all I have. Now I hope you're gonna take this message and you're gonna run with it and you're gonna go out there and you're gonna start focusing on maximum efforts instead of results. Don't be so tied to the results that you can't control anyway and get out there and succeed at the highest levels that you can and reach that full potential that you're looking for. Give me a thumbs up if this video helped you. Shoot me a comment, let me know what you think. Let me know if there's any other videos you want me to make or anything else in the world you want me to know about. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Let's go.